Hello, my name is Harry Clark and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, it's be my second one and my program is called A Senior's Perspective with a Twist. Well, today uh, I want to talk about the word friends or friends. Be the one you want. Uh, you can have a friend or multiple individuals who are close to you. A friend is defi defined as someone who is close to you, someone whom you confide in, someone who you look to in times of joy and happiness, as well as sorrow, as well as uh, difficulty when we're having problems figuring out things that come to us. Uh, a friend is someone who sticks close to you, uh, even when you're wrong, uh, they'll tell you the truth. Um, we need to learn, as I said before, we talking about young people from the ages of 20 to 54, need to learn what a, a friend is. Um, as many of us as uh, seniors have learned, uh, you don't have a lot of friends. Uh, you have people who are acquaintances. Uh, you have people whom you deal with. Uh, but as far as friends, uh, some people have one friend. Others have two or three. Some may, be have, may even have five to six friends. I don't mean to put a number on them, but... Uh, the number's not real large when you have what we call friends, true friends. A friend will tell you when you're wrong. A friend will look out for you when, even when you're sick. Uh, a friend is someone you can call on uh, at the midnight hour, uh, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock. You can call on them and you know that you can depend on them to, to help you, to aid you, to be with you. What it seems that a lot of young folk uh, haven't learned is what a true friend, friend is. And when difficulty comes, it friends can start to thin out on you, uh, especially if it's involving money. Or even at times, uh, it re you require their time. Uh, but a friend is someone who sticks with you, as I said, right or wrong, uh, when you don't have money, uh, when you're feeling down and you're out, you need a, a shoulder to lean on. Um, sometimes this comes uh, through hard learning, and I'm talking about uh, when you get in a tight space. Uh, you find out who your real friends are. When you need money, you find out who your friends are when you're young. Um, that's a lesson that many have had to learn the hard way. Uh, we should pick our friends. Um, and I'm not talking about um, choosing someone who agrees with everything you say. That doesn't necessarily mean they're your friend. Uh, yet, friends do agree, agree with this at times, but there are times when the friend may say, no, you're wrong. That's a friend. A friend will tell you when you're wrong. A friend will stand up to you when you want to have your own way, even though you're wrong. So, a friend is an ally, somebody who you can depend on. Uh, when others go their way, when they don't agree with your plan or the direction you're going. And I'm not saying that we always go the right way, but you would like to have somebody to be on your side when you're undertaking a certain uh, venture or, or uh, going to do a certain thing. You would like to know that somebody's on your side. Now, I know we can stand by ourselves Many times we have to do that. But uh, when two are walking together, if one shall fall, the other one can pick 
the one who's fallen down up. That's what a friend does. When you're 20 years old, when you're even 30, sometimes we, at least I know I have been foolish in investing my confidence in someone who really wasn't my friend. And as a result, uh, I thin or I, I, I put that person to the side as far as being a close friend. Uh, some friends are closer than others, and some will stand up for you when you really need it, while others will go like a bird. Birds, uh, well, fair weather friends, some people said. Uh, but anyway, friends are important. And it's good to pick the right friends, friends who are doing good things, th friends who are doing the right thing. And that's important as we grow older. I've changed friends. That's another thing. Over the years, you acquire friends and you lose friends. Um, the issue can be anywhere concerning where you live well they move away uh the issue could be they no longer do the things that you do uh you or the the or the other person who's supposed to be your friend decides that what you like they don't like uh or it could be they start to do things that are not good things that are not right and even though they're your friend, you have to part ways. We sometimes have to make choices about who our friends are. Because a friend, a true friend, will look out for you. Whereas those who say they're your friend, to them it doesn't matter whether you get in trouble or not. So having friends is important, especially these days. Uh, where people flip-flop. Uh, it's sort of like the politician who sticks his finger in his mouth and puts it, uh, his finger up to see which way the wind's blowing. If you've got a, someone like that who says they're your friend and then they get around other people and they're different, you better check that situation, that so-called friendship. You better check it because who knows what that person who's supposed to be your friend, is going to do the next time something comes up. Friends are important. Friends are people we rely on. I'm going to call it a, a session now and let the words that I've spoken sink in, especially to those who are, like I said, 20s to their 50s, 54. You see, a senior is anyone who's 55 and older. 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s. You can have friends when you're in your 90s, 80s, 70s, 60s. But a lot of times the friendship will start when we're younger. Many, many times we have friends for a lifetime. So I'm going to hold it for this session about friends. Uh, hope you have a good day. Uh, if you would, take time to push that button and uh, let me know that you uh, like what you heard today. And I'll pick it up again at another time. Um, one thing before I leave, um, I will be having my next uh, session. Uh, I'm thinking Mondays um, by 10 a.m. I should have another uh, session posted. Uh, so if you would subscribe, hit that button, and I'll see you the next time, as well as comment. Uh, if you feel that you have something you want to say, go ahead and let me know in the comment section. I'd appreciate it. Uh, thank you and have a blessed day.